As thousands of families head to high school Friday night lights, it's the Jordan High School athletes that shine a little brighter tonight in the eyes of two elementary students. New specialist Shara Park joins us live from Jordan High School with a story you'll see only on KSL. Shara? Ashley, Dini, good evening to you. What better place to be on a Friday night than high school football? I am here at, as you mentioned, Jordan High School. We've got the beat diggers warming up behind us here. They're going to take on Lehigh at 7 o'clock tonight, so a lot of activity. But I'll tell you what, the story tonight is not about the game of football. It's about student athletes, including some of these football players, and the impact that they've had on two elementary age students. To those students, these beat diggers have already won. Now let's do this one. At Park Lane Elementary, you'll find two students who continue to defy odds. Park. Nine-year-old Lucas Myrick. We didn't know if he was going to walk. We didn't know if he was going to talk. Okay, what one's that one? And eight-year-old Elsa Dent. J -J -J. Elsa is a people person. I always say that her best skills are her people skills. Lucas and Elsa have cerebral palsy and other health challenges that limit their physical activity. But when the school announced its PTA fun run this year. You know, fun run? Is like a razor for money. These two wanted in. I like walking. In the past, the fun run wasn't so fun for Lucas because he often came in last. He will get sad and frustrated when he's out playground. He can't run. He can't play tag. He can't catch up. But this year would be different. They were called the beat diggers. On the day of the fun run, two Jordan High School football players showed up to push Lucas the 1.07 miles. They ran pretty fast. And the cross-country team showed up to support Elsa and the other students. I was like, okay, do you want to do your power chair so you can go fast? And she was like, no, I really want to do it in my walker. Elsa ran the entire race on her own. I ran super duper fast. Determined to finish on her feet. I'm cheering for her, and then everybody behind me started cheering for her. And, and we had police. And the police, they were cheering for you. <laughs> and Lucas did the Woo! same. Lucas! Towards the end of the race, he got out of his wheelchair and ran faster than he's ever run before. No, I was beating one of them on my legs. Yeah, I was running ahead of him. And he couldn't even keep up with me. It was a special moment for these two kiddos. Yes, I love your fun run. Who formed a special bond with their new Jordan High School friends. Your name is the Wheelies. I got the idea from the wheelchair. It's a day that they and their parents will never forget. They were able to include somebody who's always usually last. He was like everybody else for that moment in time. Now, I spoke with uh, Jordan High School's athletic director, Joel Sunquist. He says that these student athletes represent everything the school is trying to do to build, uplift, and create a community of inclusion. He hopes that the kids, all the kids at Park Lane Elementary know that they are part of the Beat Digger family. In fact, one thing the kids taught me today is this is the symbol for the Beat Digger, Ashley and Dini. So tonight... The spotlight's on them. We'll oh, back my to you. goodness. So cute. Like Such she said, story. they've already won, oh, right? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sarah. Great story.